Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. What you are seeing is that surprise I was talking about. Um, we picked up a 550 gallon water tank. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting gutters on the front, gutters on the back side. We're going to have them come down and hook in here and uh, that way they will fill up the water tank and we're going to run a water line inside and uh, I'll go inside in a second I'll show you what we got what we're going to be doing in there but we just went and picked this up today it's a like I say 550 gallon tank so I think our water needs are going to be just fine and we're not going to have to worry about that but uh, and so now some of you guys are probably saying okay well what are you going to do when it's winter time Okay, and for, well, first of all, let me let me explain too. I will be spray painting this whole thing black, so um, that way the you know sunlight doesn't go through and start causing algae or mold inside the tank itself. And um, but uh, I will be spray painting the whole thing black. But uh, anyway, so what uh, we're gonna do as far as from the winter time, you can drop in. They have these things that uh, the ranchers use. That they drop in the water that keeps the water from freezing so the cows can drink the water and I can just drop one of those in there and just basically it plugs in and it will keep the water from freezing now the water line coming out and into the house we will have to obviously insulate the crap out of that which we will do um, so let me explain what we're going to be doing inside here so that's going to be going underneath and uh, I actually have something else coming tomorrow because today is Sunday the 20th and uh, of uh, of March so let me show you okay so our hot water and demand unit is going to be here okay so the water line is going to come up into here and also the propane line is going to go out here as well, down and out. Um, the reason I put it out here is as opposed to inside, so I have the airflow out here so that it will work um, more conven conveniently that way and we can have the airflow. Now, what you see up on top here, pick that up today as well, it is um, the pump and we're going to actually keep that up on top, put it back farther and um, this way that pump is going to give us the pressure which is basically we're going to just run a line plug it in and um, what we're going to be able to do is with the hot water and demand unit the lines we're going to run off is going to also have hot water for the sink out there and also for the sink in here um, so we kind of like switch gears a little bit and we're focusing on water right now because with me working evening shift this way, once we get this all hooked up and set up, then uh, my mom doesn't have to come and get the kids and I don't have to keep running to town to take showers. We can take showers right here at home. Um, it's uh, it's going to be much more convenient and, and obviously it's the next step in what we want to do too. Again, it's, it's just trying to be as independent as possible and uh, setting up a rain catchment system and using our own resources that way and uh, being able to use the rainwater for um, the sinks, for showering, and stuff like that. Now, you're going to say, well, you have a well. Yes, I do have a well, but my well is sulfur water. And I really don't want to shower in sulfur water and smell the smell of sulfur water. That's why I'm setting up the rain catchment system. Um, I had thought of putting it higher up the hill, as we had talked about, and running it down. But the expense of that would have actually been more to have that even prep, the site prep for that, and... You know, I already have the roof here of the building. So I listen to your guys' comments, okay? I just want you to know that, you know, it's not, I'm not listening to what you have to say. I do listen to what you have to say, and then I have to, like I said, I filter everything through. I have to hash things out in my own head and say, what's the best way to do this? And the best way to do it is, is utilize the roof that we have here. We've got a 40-foot long house with, you know, 14 feet wide. That's a lot of area circumference-wise to collect water so that we can have it in our storage tank. Now, we're they're calling for rain on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week. So, um, we get everything set up. 
and get it all squared away and then we're going to be good to go and we should be collecting water by Wednesday. So that is what is happening. So it's uh, like I say guys and you know all this stuff uh, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. I mean the water tank you can look it up. I got it at uh, Tractor Supply. Uh, it's 450 bucks you know for a 500 ga 550 gallon water tank. So no it's not cheap but it's again it's another investment. I don't have to make that investment again. You know, and that's kind of the way I look at it. Okay, boom, one-time investment. You get it. You got it. You know, um, the pump up here, uh, it's a pressure tank. You know what I mean? So we're, our, it'll keep everything pressurized, and we'll have good water pressure with everything with this. Um, this here was 289 bucks. So, I mean, I'm going to tell you what it costs. I mean, you can look it up yourself and see. Actually, let me go up higher so you can have a good look at it. It is, let me see here, it's a country line, um, it was a tractor supply, uh, let's see, it's, uh, well, like I said, I'll just, I'll just focus on that, and you guys can look at it, and you can see it for yourself, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's going to be a nice little pump. That is gonna, you know, we, we're gonna basically wire it up so that we flip a switch. When we flip the switch, the pump turns on, and then we got the water. So, you know, and it's basically gonna be plugged into one of the plugs that are buried up in the back there. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. And uh, but like I said, you know, it's all about continuing to make progress, and that's what we're doing. You know, um, there's a lot of projects, like I said, that I got to get done, that I want to get going, and again, it's about trying to make our life more convenient and easier for us you know for myself and the kids so um once we have this set up you know man then we're we're looking at you know taking nice hot showers in the house uh being able to wash the dishes and everything else so um when the other thing comes tomorrow i will show you that as well and uh like i said making huge strides <laughs> And, you know, like I said, none of none of it is cheap, but, you know, it's all part of the process. Um, like the Trident uh, Hot Water on Demand unit, um, these are, I think these are about 160 bucks. I got that at, um, uh, what do you call, uh, I got it, we went down to Henrietta um, and got it. Where did we go for that, Heather? I don't know, was it like trading center or something? No, um... It's an outdoor place. But anyway, I can't think of where we got it right now. It's, I'm drawing a blank. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's um, it just, everything is one step, one step, one step. And uh, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time, realistically. I mean, you know, you just have to get a game plan, put it in motion, and then get it done. And so um, everything should be set up for the rain catchment part of it. And we will be hopefully collecting rain on Wednesday when it's raining. So um, the game plan is there's another trip that's got to be made to the store to get gutters and all the other supplies that we have to get. And uh, we're going to get that done. And uh, we'll get things all squared away. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think it's going to be awesome. And, uh, you know, it's going to be pretty cool. So, all right, guys, listen, I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.